Positively, Jack's most seven-year-old boys are focused on you know, playing sports, hanging out with friends, not this local seven-year-old. He's doing all that, getting ready to take pre-calculus at Florida State College of Jacksonville. Mel, you spent some time with this little <laughs> mathematician. I did, and I'm telling you, he blows your mind. Okay, a question for you out there. Do you know what cryptography is? Probably not, but Cameron does. And wait until you see what else this little guy has mastered. My, my name is Cameron Robinson, my age is seven. I'm taking an intermediate algebra class. Cameron is kind of like a math superhero. He attends River City Science Academy during the day, but by afternoon, he turns into the youngest student at FSCJ. I, I believe he elevated the rest of them. <laughs> Once they realized that a seven-year-old kid was taking that class and doing well, I think I got a lot more A's in that particular class than I would have normally gotten. His parents knew he was special at the young age of three. In preschool, he was uh, doing times tables. But to Cameron, it comes naturally. I wasn't exactly born with knowing math. I was just taught math for a long period of time. Cameron's long period of time for some could take a lifetime, but for him, it's fun. This little guy turns a soccer game into an equation. All I know is that you can use calculus with it, find the second derivative, find the acceleration of how, well, of how fast the ball goes under the net. And he gets it honest. His dad has a PhD in quantitative analysis, and these two work together and challenge each other. Did you excel early as a child? Um, no. Um, no. <laughs> no, no. You I, there? I, I, I saw a poor code near five. Greg's not applying himself, especially in reading. <laughs> That's not Cameron's problem. Their challenge, making sure Cameron's education matches his ability. Yeah, when Greg signed him up for intermediate algebra, I said, maybe we should start with the first college algebra class. He goes, no, no, no. He's already got that. Cameron studies a lot. Yeah. On weekends, <laughs> I do like five to six hours a day. But he also rides his bike. <laughs> loves building with Legos. This one was 466 pieces. And plays video games. Planters and Zombies is where Planters has one base, Zombies is on the other, and, and they, they both fight. But he clearly has a gift. They do the coefficient, which, which would be four in that case, and the exponent, which would be five in that case, and then you multiply those, so that's how you get the 20. That this family is determined to see develop into greatness. The only thing is it's calculus, not pre-calculus, right? You told me it's pre-calculus. That's what you're saying. It was calculus. So Cameron has not figured out what he wants to do when he grows up. He has plenty of time for that. Right now, though, guys, he is enrolled to take pre-calculus at FSCJ in the spring. And just so you know, he tested out of third grade math.